Well, that's what you call your Tom Jones on WYOD. She's a lady. Okay, I'll accept that. No question in my mind about it. Well, it was fun. We were talking about what he wants for Christmas. Gretchen has decided... Well, Gretchen's still here. We're sitting around uh, wrapping a little bit. We often do, as a matter of fact, after the uh, talk session is over and Gretchen has done her good news. We talk about the other day, whatever. And you said you... Uh, uh, when you get so you don't want toys anymore, you said first that we shouldn't be ashamed to want toys. Oh, no, no. I think it's wonderful. I've wanted toys every year for Christmas. That, to me, toys and Christmas kind of go together. Yeah, I agree with that. And if Christmas is for children, then I am still a child. Oh, I listen, what's wrong with being a child in your heart? I mean, we may have the bodies of adults and, well, you and all that. <laughs> but so what, what's, wrong with, uh, what's wrong with just carrying a little bit of, of, of childhood in your heart? That's beautiful. Uh, I think that's one thing that children do. I wish... And now, at my advanced age, which is 87, is it this year? Yeah, I think you're 87. Going I can hardly wait for my son to get married to have a grandson so that I can start playing with model airplanes again. Oh, listen, again. I've already got things picked out. Oh, oh beautiful <laughs> dolls. He's got to have a girl and a boy because there are dolls I love and there's little cars and train sets mm. and stuff. And I just, you know, I wander in the toy department every now and then and just drool. Are you going to be the kind of grandparent who spoils your grandchildren? Probably, but I don't think you can spoil a child with love. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be that kind. I am. Whatever I can get hold of that he wants, I'll get it. Maybe I'll get something done with Look, I had to work pretty hard to raise a pretty good kid. You know, uh, whacking his little sit-down place <laughs> and this and that and the other thing. But I spoiled him with a lot of love, and he turned out okay. So what's wrong with sure loving him? Did, boy. And, oh, it's going to be so much fun. There's beautiful dolls. and. <laughs> Is Mark coming home for Christmas? No, 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 no. Oh, uh, too bad. He has to work, so. Okay. And we have to work, so. Yeah, and I have to work. This is us. Now through December 16th, you'll find big savings on J.C. Penney's entire diamond jewelry collection. Every ring, bracelet, pendant, pin, and pair of earrings will be sold for 30% less than its regular price. The diamond is the ultimate gift, and this is the Christmas to give it. This is J.C. Penney. It's almost like you're with a person to a certain extent. Because uh, you actually hear their voice. and uh, they... Louise Smith of Philadelphia tells about the calls she gets from her mother in Baltimore. Most of the time, it's, when I hear from my mother, it's just because she wants to find out about her baby. Yeah, I'm a big baby. <laughs> my baby was thinking about you today. How are you? you know, it's just a pleasure when I have a mother that's 83 years of age. Long distance is the next best thing to being there. The bell system. I like pickles. But they don't like me. Send your stomach some dry gel. I like pizza. But it doesn't like me. Send your stomach some dry gel. Digel's special combination of antacid and anti-gas ingredients gives you fast, gentle relief from acid indigestion, heartburn, and gas in just minutes. I like hot dogs. But they don't like me. Send your stomach some dry gel. For occasional use, only as directed. Well, all right. We have news at 2 o'clock with Al D'Amico on WIOD. The wine jelly's taken care of. If that the lady who wants a Fanny Farmer cookbook will call me, I have uh, three or four sources for you now on that one. Okay, is that everything for today? Oh, well, we're going to have the race results and all that stuff. I don't mean we're done. I mean, we've taken care of whatever uh, uh, we had on the docket. This is Alan Lindgren. Flowers, instrumental version by Alan Lindgren. Lindgren on WIOD. I'm Big Wilson. We're coming up on time for the news. Anybody know where to get the game Simon? We've been looking for that and uh, just had a call from the lovely Arlene Shannon. She can't find it either. Simon is called. Okay. All right, Al D'Amico's on board with the news. It looks like there's no flight. Well, Big, there still is no explanation why the Fidel Castro government canceled two flights of Cuban political prisoners and their families to the United States. The flights were expected to arrive at Miami International Airport this afternoon. A spokesman for Eastern Airlines said the Cuban government made the cancellation of the flights last night with no further explanations. I'm Al D'Amico. For WIOD News, it's 2 o'clock at WIOD Miami. State Department says the U.S. and the Soviet Union will resume strategic arms limitation talks in Geneva. The announcement follows President Carter's comment earlier today that good progress has been made on SALT. Our position has been uh, clear 
We have uh, harmony, I believe, among the Defense Department, State Department, and the White House on what should be uh, the United States position if the Soviets are adequately forthcoming. We will uh, have an agreement uh, without further delay. If they are not forthcoming, then we'll continue to negotiate. The president also said any agreement would be followed by a summit conference between the U.S. and Russia. The president told reporters he expects the Shah of Iran to remain in power. And as Secretary of State Vance returns to Egypt from Israel, the president again called the Sunday deadline for signing a peace treaty quite important. This is news from Mutual Radio. I'm Peter Mayer. Barberware brings the outdoors indoors. Now you can barbecue smoke-free and spatter-free in your kitchen with Barberware's open hearth electric broiler and rotisserie. And now you can purchase from a full line of Barberware at deliciously low prices when you say that First Federal of Broward. All it takes is a qualifying deposit in a new or existing friendly first account. From the beauty and versatility of Barberware range top cooking to the countertop economy and convenience of the Barberware turbo oven. Save it friendly first, where your savings will earn the highest rates with the lowest terms allowed by law. And save on a full line of quality barberware. A better way to cook and a better way to save makes friendly first right for you. Keep in mind, saving at First Federal of Broward also means your money is safe in one of the largest associations in the country. Right for you. Miami Beach City Commissioner Simon Wickler says for years Miami Beach has been assailed by allegations by individuals in the media that are largely unsupported and false. Wickler is proposing the formation of a Department of Investigation that would oversee contracts, transactions, and financial dealings of Miami Beach. He tells WIOD News why. Would at least be an assurance to the people of Miami Beach that there is their tax money is being carefully uh, uh, watched and spent the way it's supposed to be spent. Wickler added that he knows of no wrongdoings or irregularities, and if he did, he would have reported such activities to the proper authorities. The bodies of a man in his 50s and a woman in her 20s was discovered this morning at 5521 Southwest 54th Street. Metro detectives say a resident of the home made the find and called police. The man and woman had each been shot several times. The names of the victims are being withheld pending notification of next of kin. Metro Mayor Steve Clark's ordinance that would create a Dade County Housing Authority is up for final reading. It would provide low-interest home loans for middle or lower-income families buying homes. Commissioner Beverly Phillips is against it. She explains why. I think we have extended the county's credit as far as in my judgment, is fiscally sound. Uh, Dade County, no more than any other government, can solve all the problems of any one community. And it seems to me that it is time to draw the line. Commissioner Phillips added she does not like the county getting into an area that rightfully belongs to private enterprise. The Dow Jones 130 stock averages 30 industrials up 1.82. Our weather for South Florida, mostly fair and much cooler through tomorrow. Small craft advisory in effect. Seas 5 to 8 feet, locally higher in the Gulf Stream, decreasing by some time tomorrow. Exposed inland waters are rough. High today in the upper 60s, low tonight in the 50s, high tomorrow in the low 70s. Key West reporting 70 degrees. The Palm Beach is 57. Fort Lauderdale, 60. The airport in Miami has 60, and here at Broadcast Key, we've got 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius. I'm Al D'Amico for WIOD News. Now, once again, here's Big Wilson. Well, now, what do you want for Christmas? That's what we were doing about an hour ago, a little less. What do I want for Christmas? I know you just had a birthday. I think I would want a very uh, straight, well-built wing to a model airplane <laughs> <laughs> that won't crash after I build the body. You ask too much, especially if you're going to fly it. Well, if you build that wing straight, we've got it made. <laughs> no, I've got it made. Does he love me? I want to know. Uh, the Shoop Shoop song, Kate and Brother James Taylor on WIOD. You realize how cool it is? It's 60 degrees. Good heaven. And I'm Big Wilson. Good afternoon. Bob DiCarlo at 2.30 this afternoon. 23 minutes from now, in fact. Now, let's see. Tomorrow morning between 11 and 12, we will be doing our... Uh, what's tomorrow? Wednesday? Yeah, we'll be doing the Trader Big thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll hold that off because we have new records tomorrow. Anyway, 
Be here tomorrow morning. Now, the high bidder today, a nice $200 bid from a lovely lady named Connie Cupid for the Miami Lakes... Uh, no, that's not right. She, yeah, she wasn't Connie. I'm sorry, Connie. It was Susan Smith, the Holy Cross Presbyterian Church in Opelaka. A $200 bid, and that uh, takes the $267 worth of toys, which I will deliver, and the church will also get to Connie's... Uh, Connie, because... Uh, Connie, you call tomorrow, and I'll take a chance tomorrow, okay? Now, that's what I want. I want to auction these toys off. It's a lovely bunch, and the high bidder for the week will get an additional $150 worth of Kenner toys. So be here for the Trader Big Thing, if you will, in the morning. And this afternoon, coming up, we'll talk to young, uh, a young David Tannenbaum about the races, uh, the uh, going on Tropical Park at Calder. We'll draw another rider for this Saturday's Miss Tropical Handicap. Well, lots to do. Oh, it's just what I want. Sears Kenmore dishwasher. Right now, in time for Christmas, you can save $40 on Sears Kenmore built-in and portable dishwashers with pot and pan cycle. And save $40 on Sears Trash Compacting. Thanks, guys. Does this mean we don't have to use paper plates anymore? On the past, the country, Sears Kenmore dishwasher. Sears Kenmore dishwasher. Available at most Sears retail stores. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Jim Moore, he sees things with an understanding that only a few men have. He expresses what he sees with pictures in a style all his own. You've seen his work in national magazines. Now you can see him exclusively as the Herald editorial cartoonist. He strips through the headlines and gets right to the naked core of what's really happening. Jim Moore's editorial cartoon. Jim Moore, daily in the Herald. Everybody, this is Hank Goldberg. Join me tonight at 7 o'clock for a 90-minute sports line. We'll have an hour and a half to talk about anything you'd like to discuss in sports. Then it's NBA basketball. Phoenix against the Milwaukee Bucks. Ooh. Alvin Adams and Paul Westfall oh, yeah. will lead the Phoenix team against Don Nelson's great, young, improving Milwaukee Bucks. Should be one heck of a ball game. Uh -huh. Following the sports line at 7 right here on mm -hmm. someplace special for sports, WIOD. Train bound to nowhere 